talk straight up to uh, Sonics and say, hey, man, you want to get some sets? Because, uh, you know, that, that, and a great place to learn your stuff is here at Knockdown, where we got some of the best matches like this one here, Grandmaster versus JoJo. Uh, these are two princesses that are absolutely ready to duke it out right now. Love the gold coming out of JoJo. Grandmaster. Yeah, Jojo, he, he always takes the drippiest cards. Uh, oh, man, he <laughs> dripped in the drop. And then took off the Gucci hat, though, so might have been getting in the way of the headphones. That's a headphone. Very nice grab conversion. That booty bounce coming out. Hearts all around the world. Toad's going to come out and smoke him real quick. Back. Yeah, like I said, Peach does well in this matchup. It's not bad. But Grandmaster probably in his... Favorite position in the game, ledge trapping. He's amazing at it. His house is Great just as man. good at it as he is. I see what you're saying here. Yeah, he has him right where he wants him here. I definitely see it. That was one of the things that kind of early when Bow used to come was, you know, some people kind of let Ness back on stage for free. And one of the great things that Grandmaster does is not let you back on that stage for free and see him going from one side to the other. Yeah, and then that's gonna kill. Like, so isn't it crazy? He took a that whole 107 and then didn't take a. Yeah, like, isn't that, that crazy that he just took all that damage and then he got him on the ledge once and he died? Absolutely. That's crazy. He went from one ledge to the other too, forcing his opponent into his spot. Ooh, now he's those dash attacks, though. like I was saying earlier. I love how people are taking it. Prize. Love <laughs> it. I love what I'm seeing 100 too. Uh, and I'm glad we have you on the on the cast today because we are getting a lot of insight on what these players like, where they like to play. Yeah, I'm happy to give uh, that kind of help as well. Someone who's as deep in the scene as I am, it's happy. I'm happy to share some knowledge, especially for the comments. But here we go. So JoJo, if he wanted that turn up, that could have. Probably been the death. <laughs> yeah, could could have went into something nasty combo there. There's that dash attack coming out too. Finds himself on the ledge. Scoops him up. Oh, here it is. Nice. Solid. I think that was like 35 percent. Maybe 40. Jojo tries to go the extra mile there and do some campy ledge stuff. Knows he has to be uh, almost frame perfect on this ledge because Grandmaster is. Grandmaster completely reversing this uh, the the ledge trap scenario. Uh, and he got over 100% confidence. Finally letting him back on stage. Back no, he's not back on stage. Back on stage. Then just the corner is not back on stage. Yeah, and then just walks back onto and throws him off. Hilarious. Ooh, see. wow. Amazing drift coming from JoJo. It's so hard to avoid Palutena up here because it's so massive. It's one of the biggest moves in the game. And that was just really good by him. Good tech by Grandmaster. Oh my god. Continue to follow up. I mean, just won't let him to one side or the other. If he hits him, he's not he's not going for up throw, he's not going for anything up there. He is looking for the side. Uh, I think Jojo could definitely take a, a second out of the book because it seems like he gets him to ledge and then just lets him keep on in the back. So it feels like that, right? But it's not true. Jojo's trying to get him off. But Grandmaster is so good when it like he just loves back. the ledge. He loves being on it, he loves being he loves ledge trapping it, like, it's just really hard to hit him, especially with Palu, because Palu has massive hitboxes with her name, so it's hard to trade with it. She has a back air that's untradeable completely because he's invincible. Use it, and then there's very few moves that are actually punishable. One of those being neutral, and JoJo being the smart head that he is, and dash attacking it, and low profiling the, the hit. Back here in neutral, I mean, JoJo could definitely steal this one out. Finds himself at a little bit of higher percentage, and now finds himself where he doesn't want to be. Doesn't go for grab there, goes for double smash. I, 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 I love that Grandmaster called out the fact that he was not going to grab it. He's like, you're not grabbing me. I am fully aware that you are too scared. <laughs> yeah. uh, JoJo seems to be a little calmer in this situation than most would be, but he has reason not to be Grandmaster. Grandmaster just spamming back here, knocking him off the stage. And then up air is going to kill him at 120%. So probably didn't throw an up air like throughout the entire set. Like, found him at the at the top of that platform and 
goes for it there and gets it. No, I, he used up air quite a lot, actually. I think that was the first one that killed, though. Okay. Uh, he was using lots of up airs to cover certain options because he likes to float in this one area in the game where it's really hard to touch her. So he would use up air to cover her from floating above her. And then when she would fall down forward, he would either land with a forward air or uh, he would just have to restart the scenario entirely. So, and if that. it restarts, it's fine because yeah. he's still an advantage. Definitely saw that Nair plane coming out uh, ever lasting as it does. Uh, gonna go to that. Oh, still on Peach, actually, just in the days of skin. Gonna follow the Nair plane going on. Go triple up air. Yeah, oh, up air? Please. Up air is actually one of the best moves in the game. <laughs> it does really It's a combo good. move. It's a kill move. <laughs> it's yeah, so scary. I feel like utilization of this character came really uh, late into the scene. And uh, it's starting to see it more and more now. Obviously, one of the top tier. Oh, Grandmaster, he was trying to hit him with a wing green hitbox with up smash. Uh, yeah, it lingers for a very long time, uh, believe it or not. And it kills. It'll kill the entire time. Uh, every hit. Yes. Well, only has one giant hit. <laughs> Ooh, the scoop. Yeah, good the parry. imagination. That was a phenomenal parry. Uh, realizing that there's a certain timing on it when Grandmaster wants to use it. Whoa. And it's down it. Down a. Uh, uh, great advantage they coming from uh, Jojo, Jojo, Jojo right now. Like a little bit down and responding perfectly, but now finds himself with a legend and just drops instead of just giving a little bit more sword. So something about Palutena is that that side beat forces you to cover it. It makes you have to grab the one. You can't really fight it. If you go above, you're back there, you're forward air, and you're back in the scary scenario. Using the up air, he used the up air to combo into back air to knock him back off the stage instead of doing another up air. So when he gets him off the stage, he's forced to ledge trap. And now you're in an even worse scenario. So if, for example, he landed two up airs, he would do like 30%. Right? But he back air him off stage, probably did 20%, but then he got another 40, 50 percent because he had him on ledge for yeah, however long. Now JoJo just seems to be chasing him down. Wow, good ledge from and then reacting to how he GI'd to it as well. Good side beat. Uh, JoJo yeah, I think he's got a shot his landing on that side. Throws him up, doesn't get the kill, but definitely has him where he wants him there. Goes low, like you said, very smart, but runs into. Just the Grandmaster chess play that is Grandmaster. Hey, he's so nasty. He, he's so good at the game. He's uh, getting nastier and nastier to one leg. There's always a new option you have to watch out for. He gets scared. Not even, uh, I wouldn't even say Joker was really going into the turn of the first game. I don't see him going into the floor. He can't really get into his combo. The second is on the leg. Grandmaster is working him to his fullest potential. Back to back. Battle of the Dress. Wow! Dude, he, he, was, he was like 500% better. Literally, right? That is kind of how Yeah, it Grandmaster, he, so disgusting at this game. Easily one of the most... Uh, he's de he's definitely thinking the entire time he's playing. No, yeah. Like, it's cerebral, for sure. <laughs> it's actually kind of crazy and kind of scary. He's got a big brain, and, and he uses and it And he well. plays the perfect character for that big brain. That for that big old throw. Yep. His brain is actually in the fro. It's in the fro. It's, it's Mojo fro. Jojo fro. <laughs> yes. Beautiful uh, stuff coming out. In his out head itself, there is no there is no brain. No, it all sits in the fro. Very smart uh, player, to say the least. So cerebral in his movement and so technical when it comes to this ledge. Look at this ledge trump to back air. That is one that Jojo wants back for sure. And then just going to this last kill. A three stock is to say the least there. Usually, like I say, JoJo likes to hold back game one and then start to download his opponent game two. Mm -hmm. There was no download in any sort there for game two. I think the next JoJo. game is 